main army bullcrap game. Get on, son. You got nothing for me. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Guns for Hire, bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay on the map Redwood. And in this time around, man, your boy went bananas, yo. I dropped more than two dimes on this on, 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 on this gameplay, man. The rate went ham. I got two rates, and it was like one was one was flying by Tom Cruise, the other one was by Sean Norris, man. I mean they were that good, man. And I'ma show you something, man, that I think I'm up to something, man. When I come out with these rates, I'ma show you something real quick and see if you could try it out see if you will have as much success as i have with this with these rates anyway uh a lot of people out there man are complaining about the score streaks on this game um you know i they, they, this game have very weak score streaks yes i, I give you that but I'm gonna tell you something, man. I heard that Van, Van der Hart is, is getting ready to buff the score streaks. And that's gonna happen here pretty soon, most likely on the next update. Uh, and that's good news, man. I think that, that, that that's gonna help out the game a lot. Uh, people are gonna be able to have some fun, you know, with the score streaks. Now, what he's gonna do to the score streaks, I, I don't know, he hasn't said. But he, he did uh, uh, assure the people that he was gonna, he's in the process of buffing them out, making them better. Now, my opinion, man, about all of this buffing and nerfing, um, I think that Van der Haar, um, this is his last Call of Duty. If you didn't know, uh, Van der Haar is not gonna be um, running the show on the next uh, Black Ops game. Um, when it, when the, the next time around, you know, Black Ops comes out. If if it's gonna be another Black Ops game, we never know, you know. Um, but he he's gonna be out out of the picture. He he's gonna move on to something else. And um, so uh, I think that that this game have been twisted, both nerfed too soon. You know, the game came out right in November, and <laughs> three days after the, the game came out, the game debuted, debuted the, 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 the nerf stuff, and they both stuff. You know, even during, when they were in the beta stage, you know, when this game came out on beta on PS4, this game was on, on pain connectivity, you know? What pin is, you know, it have to do with the speed of your internet or how you receive the speed in which you receive um, your uh, download and upload uh, communication. That's what pin is. And this game was uh, pretty much when it first came out on beta for the PS4 was on pin connectivity for the first, I believe for the first two or three days. And the game was, look at this. Now this is my first rate. Now what I'm doing is, I'm putting my rate right behind the enemy home flag. I'm talking about behind it, not on it, behind it. What I'm doing, I'm spawn trapping them with my rate. And it worked beautifully. You could try this. I, I think that you can do this in any map. Because look, think about this. They're spawning on Charlie. They're spawning on their home flag. And when they spawn, that ray is behind them. So by the time they look back, they turn around and look back and trying to shoot it down, the ray is killing them. You see what I mean? So, you know, unless you're running blind eye, it will be kind of difficult to take down the ray. Now, Grand Shoot, my, 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 the people I'm playing with, they, they pretty much um uh well right now they did push the the push for alpha but you can control the spawn you see how it stay on alpha i mean they push for charlie but you see how i, I spawn on alpha 
I mean, I stay by alpha. I'm controlling the spawns. I'm making my team spawn where, where the hell I want them to spawn. And that's what you can do. When you play domination, you and you get the rate, take the rate, put it on the enemy flag. You feel me? Put it on the enemy flag behind the enemy home flag and let the rate go to work. And you stay put in your home flag. This is important because by you standing put put on your on your home flag, you're gonna control the spawn. Now, if they spawn near B, they're gonna get they're gonna get uh, handled by the rate. If they when they spawn on their home flag, they're gonna get handled by the rate. It, it, it's a beautiful thing. Now look at that. Your boy already on his uh, UAV care package and counter UAV. I like this setup, man. It's it's back to back to back, and and it and it does it does work for me. You know, I know that a lot of people tend to take down counter UAVs and and take UAVs out, but you know, you never know, man. You know, you don't know what kind of lobby you're gonna encounter, you're gonna get. And and to tell you the truth, you know, I'm having a bit of prop trouble uh, reaching to look at that another rate. Thank you, Tom Hanks, man. You you hooking that brother up. I'm having problems. I'm doing the same thing here. I'm putting it behind Alpha now. And I'm talking about behind Alpha. I'm, I think I put it outside the map, behind Alpha. Let me take care of these two news real quick. Anyway, uh, like I was telling you guys uh, before I explain, before the explanation of the Wraith or whatever, you know, I think that Vanderhart started doing upgrades on this game too soon i think that he should I, I mean he should have allowed the game to mature a little bit you know waited to uh, like february you know what i'm saying in, uh, at least to february to see what really needed to be changed in the game if anything i don't believe in buffing and nerfing stuff and i'm gonna I'm explain to you why modern warfare 2 and i and i spoke about this in, in one of my videos my older videos Modern Warfare 2 is considered the greatest Call of Duty game to come out, okay? That game had never received an update. That game is the same freaking broke down, one man army, bull crap game. Get on son, you got nothing for me. The same broke down, freaking broke ass game that has been from 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 the box. It never got updated. It never got buffed. It never got nerfed. It never got fixed. But it's considered the best Call of Duty ever. You feel me? People will adjust. You have to let people adjust to your game. You know, there are things that are really bad with this game. The connectivity. It should go back to pin connectivity instead of. Um, a skill match collectivity okay the uh that needs to be fixed the fact that you can that friendly fire on 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 hardcore that needs to be fixed you should made it you should make it like black ops 2 when if you shoot a friendly the person who shoots the friendly dies not the friendly who gets shot it's not fair for the friendly who got shot to lose the score streak to lose, to, 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 to mess up the KD. You know what I'm saying? It's not fair. Now look at that. I'm, I'm seeing this um, water move and uh, I knew he was, somebody was nearby, but he, he handled me. Anyway, so, because right now, what you got going on on hardcore is that if you, if you run in care package, like I do, I like running care package. If you run in care package, People are standing by you, wait for you to get your care package and kill you. Now you could say, well, you could just shoot them first. Yes, but if I shoot, you know, you can't do that so often before you get kicked out. You know what I'm saying? So they should change that. Anyway, let me show you guys something real quick. Your boy went 27 and six. 27 and six, man. Come on now. Show me some love, man. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Tell your boys about me. Tell your girls about me. Follow me on Twitter. Help me promote my channel, man. Come on, show me some love. What else can I do, man? 
27 and 6. Come on, holla at me, man. Peace and adios.